Hey guys and welcome back. So today we are going to review a sunscreen again <laughs> because the last time I reviewed a sunscreen it was a Paul's Choice sunscreen and it was a chemical sunscreen and I've told you guys that I cannot tolerate chemical sunscreens on my face. Uh, they're okay on the body but uh, for the face I cannot do with them. So I've been on a hunt or on a quest for a mineral sunscreen for my face and I came across a uh, Derma uh, E sunscreen and it is their uh, antioxidant natural sunscreen oil free face lotion SPF 30 and I've decided to try it out. Derma E were kind enough to send me a pack of testers because, because you cannot get testers here in Europe I think and I've been trying them out for two to three weeks and I also gave them to my friends so different skin types could try it out and now I'm going to talk about it and show it uh, on camera how it applies so you can decide if you like it or not. Okay, so let's begin with some general information about this sunscreen. I only have testers but if you buy the full size of this product it comes in a 2 weight ounce tube or 56 grams so that's very nice uh, because the tube will keep the active ingredient stable and for this amount of sunscreen you will pay only between 18 or uh, 25 dollars uh, it depends where you buy it uh, and here in Europe it's the same so between 18 and 20 25 euros so that's nice so the claims of this sunscreen are it's broad spectrum SPF 30 it provides chemical free zinc oxide protection which is great because you know zinc oxide is the uh, broad spectrum uh, sunscreen agent uh, then it also prevents signs of aging of course and it's safe and hypoallergenic and what's uh, good about this sunscreen is also that it's nano free so if you are concerned about uh, nanoparticles this one is nanoparticle free and it's also cruelty free so they don't test on animals and this sunscreen is also vegan so that's a huge plus if you're vegan like me it's also GMO free gluten free uh, and fragrance free so that's amazing as I said this sunscreen contains 16% uh, zinc oxide which is great and then it also contains vitamin C and green tea extract for antioxidant protection which are also very nice this sunscreen does not contain any uh, oils so if you have oily skin it will be suitable for you and yeah everything on paper sounds nice and it's amazing so let's take a look at the application Okay, so I'm back with my mirror and let's take a look how it applies. Okay, so as you can see it comes out as a thick cream, but it's very lightweight at the same time. You know, it sounds kind of funny. Let's try applying it. I always apply very much sunscreen because then you guys know only then you kind of achieve the SPF factor which is stated on the packaging. You have to apply 1.25 milliliters for effective SPF rating. So I will apply quite a bit now. And by the way, I don't have any moisturizer underneath. I only shaved an hour ago, I think. It comes out very white-ish. More. Now, I have looked at some reviews on YouTube and some of the people said that this sunscreen feels heavy. It's not heavy at all. I think it's very lightweight and also my friends told me that uh, they also think that it's very lightweight. It's not greasy at all. As you can see, it's very mattifying. It's not oily or shiny. Now, it does clump up a bit if you don't kind of spread it evenly or gently but that's okay because I put so much on and I always make sure to apply under my eyes and I will also put a bit on my neck and also a bit at the back side of my hands I do so so they are protected as well <laughs> okay so now you might think that it looks very white and I look like a ghost but I promise you after 10 minutes it kind of dissipates so now, now I will go drink a coffee and then I will come back and you will see how it sinks in and how it blends in. Okay, I'm back and it's only been five minutes because apparently somebody has stolen my coffee. Uh, and yeah, uh, as you can see, it's already a bit better and it gets only uh, better with time. So the white cast kind of dissipates, but not uh, entirely. 
uh, a small amount still remains. So uh, if you are uh, someone of color uh, and you have dark skin, I think this sunscreen kind of will get you kind of nervous. But uh, on your makeup, it's totally fine. Uh, girls have told me that this uh, sunscreen functions very nice uh, on their makeup, so it's not it's nothing special. I think this sunscreen is good for all skin types, uh, especially sensitive skin. Uh, the only thing I would say is if you have dry skin or if you kind of have tight skin, uh, use a bit of moisturizer or or maybe a serum or an oil serum underneath, and then apply the sunscreen because it's really mattifying and that can be a bit too tightening and uh, drying for dry skin types. The sunscreen is also very nice on uh, acne prone skin, so it won't cause any breakouts. Uh, I, had, I have some friends who have acne and they uh, tested it out and it performed nicely. Okay, so the pros of this sunscreen are it's lightweight and for almost every skin type. Then it's uh, zinc oxide, that, that means that it's very gentle. It has some beneficial antioxidants, it's not expensive and it's vegan and fragrance free. And then the negatives are that it leaves a slight white cast, especially on darker skin types. It's not suitable for very dry skin types because it's very mattifying, so you will need a moisturizer underneath. And sadly, it's not water resistant. So if you are going to the seaside or swimming or you will be jogging and sweating a lot, uh, this sunscreen is not going to be uh, okay and you will need to find a different sunscreen. But uh, then again, I think this is also the reason that the sunscreen is so lightweight and you, we cannot have everything at once, can we? But yeah, in general, I think this is an amazing sunscreen and at this moment, this is my favorite sunscreen, my favorite mineral sunscreen. I will also continue testing other mineral sunscreens and obviously making videos about them. In the description below, you have the links where to buy this product, so you can check it out and yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!